is up, everybody? It's Alex from Title Boxing Club in Rochester, New York, with no, not a focus point of the week, but instead a midweek diatribe. I'm going to talk about switching stances. To switch or not to switch? That is the question. Um, over the weekend, the best, arguably best pound for pound fighter, Terrence Crawford, uh, did look very good in his fight, taking out Kel Brook with no problem. And he is famous for being what's called a switch hitter in boxing, which means he fights in his orthodox stance, he's right-handed, left foot forward, right foot back, and he can switch to southpaw stance as well. Uh, in the fight, he was actually getting hit a lot with Kell Brook's jab. He switched to southpaw, Kell Brook could not hit him with that jab anymore, ended up finishing him off really quickly. Then, of course, we also have people like Marvin Hagler, uh, Mike Tyson, certainly Roy Jones Jr., who do something called shifting, where they will actually switch their stance as they throw punches to get a different angle, to get more power. Now, obviously, these are awesome fighters. So, should we be switching our stance when we're learning how to box? And there are certainly boxing classes out there in the world that do this. A lot of the online stuff, they'll do this. And I don't, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't. Because number one, we're all learning how to box, right? I don't even think we should think about fighting in that other stance. Every once in a while, sure, we can mix it up or we can do, I like those switch crosses. I did those the other night. Steph does them, they're fun. But we do them, you know, just once in a while. But in terms of doing it regularly, making it a regular thing, we need to all learn how to fight. It's hard enough just fighting in our regular stance. So until we get that technique perfect, we shouldn't even really think about being a switch hitter because even Terrence Crawford didn't start off that way. He started off learning in his orthodox stance and then eventually switched as he got better and better. Also, in terms of a workout, the workout perspective, because let's say you don't want to be Terrence Crawford, you don't want to be Mike Tyson. As always though, you're gonna work harder in your orthodox stance. We used to switch all the time and when we did, people don't work as hard in their opposite stance, in south pauses right. And the reason is simple, it's because it's awkward, it's hard, it's coordination challenge. You might say, well, I wanna build that coordination. Yeah, you, you can build it, you can make it better, but it's not gonna be that great of a benefit for you and you're gonna lose out on a lot of fitness benefit there as well. Plus, it's not all just interchangeable based on stance. Your lead hook is a different thing than a southpaw rear hook with that same hand. They all have nuances to them that are important. Boxing is not an equal thing. It's kind of like, I mean, this is an extreme example, but uh, you know, Josh Allen doesn't throw passes with his right hand and his left hand. He uses his strong hand. That's the one that makes the most sense. Um, you know, in baseball, you've got some switch hitters who bat left-handed, right-handed, but they're only doing one motion. Just one motion is all they've got to learn. It makes a little bit more sense. Boxing, it really doesn't. So that's the reason that we do it. If you've ever wondered if you've got any questions or maybe you disagree, I'd love to hear them. Put them in the comments. And of course, in your orthodox stance or your regular stance, hit it hard.